Fabric is one of the most popular Minecraft mod pack installers out there, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install Fabric mods. Now, in the description down below, the second link down below, you'll find the link here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting the Fabric mod loader, and we've also got a video up here. This article always stays up to date. The video you're watching now, I don't expect the process to change anytime soon, but if you're finding this 10 years from now, who knows, it's possible the setup has changed. But if it has, this article on the website, which again, link down below, and you have to go through it to get fabric using this video is going to stay up to date and working correctly. So once you're here, go ahead and click download fabric to be taken to the official fabric download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click Universal Jar here. Download Universal Jar, this little link. The reason being is that if you use the Universal Jar versus the installer, it will allow you to get other mods in the future easily. All that stuff, it will ensure Java is set up correctly. So you want to download Universal Jar there and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. We then want to go ahead and move on to this, which is actually the Fabric API. This is required for a lot of Fabric mods. We're going to be installing a mod in this video that actually requires it. So you want to make sure that you get the Fabric API generally, no matter what. And of course it's linked down below. Once you're here, click Download Fabric API, and that will take you off to Curse Forge. Now, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on Files, and then you want to click the Download for the version you want, which for us is right here. Go ahead and click the three dots and click Download File. Well, this is downloading how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Let's say you wanted to play your Fabric mods with your friends. Well, if you go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own Minecraft server, you can play Fabric mods with your friends. Just simply select Fabric and check out and add your mods. It's that easy to get a Fabric server set up with Simple Game Hosting, and if you want to add mod packs like Better Minecraft or all the mods, you can do that easily with just a few clicks as well. We've also got expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out along the way, and the whole entire goal of Simple Game Hosting is to make hosting a Minecraft server simple, so go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server, running Fabric, or anything else that you want the simple way. Now the mod is downloaded just like with Fabric, you may need to keep or save it. We're going to download three more mods here, the first being block us. This is a mod that adds in a bunch of different blocks to Minecraft. The process is the same. Click on files and then you want to find the version that you want and you want to make sure that it is fabric. The next mod we download will be forge and fabric. You want to make sure you're getting the fabric version and after a few seconds the download will begin and again you may need to keep or save it. Now we've got just enough items here. Just enough items allows you to see all the items you have added to Minecraft and with this case it'll take you to our website. Just click the download button there and then once you're here click on files. You know the process from this point Point. But now we want to make sure that the mod loader is fabric. As you can see, we have forge and we have fabric. We want to make sure that we're getting the fabric version here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If you get the forge version and try to install it, it won't work with this video. So you want to make sure that you are getting the fabric version and clicking download there. Now, it may be a bit overkill, but there is one more mod we're going to grab, and that is going to be Spark. Spark is cool because it lets you diagnose different performance issues with Minecraft mods, and I also like to include it here because it is both Forge and Fabric, and I like to mention that a few times because you want to make sure you're downloading the Fabric version, because if you download the Forge one, you guessed it, it's not going to work. So you want to make sure that you are downloading the Fabric version, and again, like the rest of them, you may need to keep or save the mod. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser and move all of this to our desktop. To do that for me, it's going to be in my downloads folder. For you, it's going to be wherever your files typically download to. These won't stay on your desktop for long, but it's a lot easier to manage everything on your desktop. So we have Spark, Just Enough Items, and Block Us, as well as the Fabric API. Those are the four mods that we're going to be installing, but to get started, we actually want to install the Fabric Installer. So go ahead and find the Fabric Installer here, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, then what you want to do is go to the description down below and go here. Download Java. Now, right now it's Java 17, but I hope this video works for a decade into the future. And so because of that, it might change. And it's always going to be the version of Java that you need for the most recent version of Minecraft. Right now that's Java 17. In the future, it could be Java 18, 19, 20, Java 30. Who knows? But it will always be for the most recent version and be the most recent version that Minecraft requires. Now, we also want to go ahead and run the jar fix if you get Java. What the jar fix does is take all the jar files in your computer and link them back to Java and make them work happily together. So first get Java, then run the jar fix. And then finally, we'll be able to right click on fabric, click on open with, 
click Java, and click OK. That opens up the Fabric installer here, where what we want to do is select the Minecraft version we want. We're going to be going with the 1.20 in this case, but for you, it could be any old or newer version. You want to make sure Create Profile is checked, and then click Install. And this is going to go through and install Fabric. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. You want to make sure both of those are closed before you install Fabric, and you want to make sure that you've played the version of Minecraft you're installing Fabric for. So if you're installing Fabric for Minecraft 1.23.4, you want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.23.4 before installing Fabric. Just open it up in vanilla and then close out of it and then you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and click OK here, close out of that, and we can close the Fabric installer. Now you can delete the Fabric installer from your desktop as well, but it's time to install our Fabric mods. To do that, you want to open up Minecraft here and just in the Minecraft launcher, don't click play, don't do anything, just in the Minecraft launcher, you want to click the installations tab at the top. So in the Minecraft launcher here, click on installations at the top and then you want to make sure modage checked on the right hand side there. As you can see, if modage not checked, Fabric disappears. Appears. Now, if you have Fabric here, you're going to go ahead and skip forward uh, 15 seconds in this video. If you don't, go ahead and click New Installation here. Then we want to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the best way to host a mod in Minecraft server. And then click the drop down box here and you want to find Release Fabric Loader and then the version at the end should be the Minecraft version you want. So this is the one we want here. I'm going to change the resolution so you can see better, but the most important part here is changing that version and then click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile as well as that fabric installation we had earlier. Doesn't matter which one of these you use because they both have the same Minecraft version behind them. Now let's go ahead and hover over our fabric installation and click on the folder icon that appears. That's then going to open up our Minecraft folder and in here you should have a mods folder. <gasps> But I don't have a mods folder. Well, if you don't have a mods folder, that's fine. I don't either. Let's just make one. So right click, create a new folder and title it mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and drag and drop all of the mods we downloaded or any fabric mods you want to install into your mods folder here. So fabric API, block us, just enough items and spark in our case, but this could be any fabric mods you want to install. Just add them to the mods folder right like so. Now let's go ahead and play Minecraft either using our fabric installation or the installation we created. Click play again to confirm you're playing modded Minecraft. And now when Minecraft opens, your mods will be installed. So here we are in game. Unfortunately, Fabric doesn't have a mods button or anything. The really only way to see if everything is working is just to jump in game. We're going to go ahead and create a new simplegamehosting.com world here because why not? And then I'm going to make it creative because it's easier to get access to the modded blocks that are added and then click create new world here. Now you don't have to create a new world for mods, but generally if you're adding a bunch of mods in a world, creating a new one can be a good idea, especially if there's biome mods or something like that, mods that are going to add in new biomes. It's only going to generate those new biomes in new chunks so it might be best to just start new and start fresh with your mods but here we are in game if we go ahead and hit e to open up creative we should be able to find different block us items in here here we go we've got all these different block us blocks i mean there's tons of them you know light blue pattern wool for example i mean just so much different block us items that look really really cool once you get them in games. You can also see on the right hand side here we have just enough items which will allow us to search for different stuff as well and look up different crafting recipes and what's actually really cool is the block us items are in here like how do you craft an obsidian pressure plate well that's how a charred boat that's how a grassy block that's how glowstone well, that's, anyway, that's in vanilla Minecraft. But you get the idea. You can do all of this stuff and click around and see how to craft all of this stuff that Block Us adds using just enough items. That's why it's a must-have if you're adding in modded Minecraft with a bunch of different items. Now, there's also one more mod that we added here, and that, of course, is Spark. Now, the best way to test Spark is to do slash Spark Profiler, and then we want to do dash dash start. So Spark Profiler Start, right like so, and now a profile is running. Basically, what this does is it just takes and makes sure and basically profiles what's happening in Minecraft, and then it will spit out a link for you to click and check out, and you'll be able to see what's lagging in Minecraft. To stop it, you just come over here and you type stop at the end of that string, and then it will upload the results, and there we go. We can now go ahead and see exactly what we are looking for, which is our different, you know, basically lag and different guidance as to what's going on in Minecraft. 20, 19 to 20 TPS is what you're looking for in Minecraft there. And then you can click down here at the bottom to see different stuff that may be lagging your game. Anyway, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for the next one. We'll see you there and I am out. Peace.